Welcome back. Uh, we have got quite a unique experience that we are looking forward to at the moment. As you can see behind me, the weather does not look very impressed. And we just have got a little break to go and do it. We have received already about 40 mils of rain, which is quite unusual in this particular area. So, okay, let's do it. Let's go see what we can get. I hope you enjoy the experience with me. These two lionesses are the sub-adults or youngsters from Flavia, one of the famous lionesses in the park. And right now they're busy just walking through the grass. I suppose um, without any bad intentions, but they are just play fighting with their sister. Which actually helps strengthen the bond. But in the vicinity is this water bug that is just chilled. He's up for a surprise. Look, that is very close. These guys are heading right straight up. Hey, you better wake up and smell the coffee. Watch. I suppose the lions would be more surprised than the water bug. Look, you see, that's quite a very close shave. These are southern common reed bucks, a very water dependent antelope uh, species uh, that occur on the edge of the floodplains. Now sending a warning, an alarm call to the lions. Liechtenstein's red art beast. <laughs> Here is um, a leucistic one. Um, they are regarded as some of the fastest antelope species in the region. As an adaptation, you can see they've got a very sloppy shape with the hind quarters uh, being shorter than the front legs. And uh, this is an adaptation to an energy conserving speed. They are known to run for long distances. Blue wildebeest, um, they actually congregate in very big uh, groups um in burnt areas where there's very short grass just coming up in this case you can see as the rain approaches the orientating their bodies um facing away from the rain so they don't get the rain directly on their faces This water buck is going to surprise a lion. This lion is just chilling out. He is fast asleep. He has got no idea. He's probably dreaming a water bug coming right onto his face. And it's actually real. Around the corner is a hand moon couple on holiday. I wonder what's happening in the park. It seems all the couples around in the park, they, they're all gone on hand moon holidays. <laughs> That's a good sign. There's more hope. The lioness immediately rolls over, and that is to induce ovulation. Scuffing is uh, marking the territory, uh, impregnating the smell in the grass and on his back legs, so that as he walks around, he maps around the whole trail. Everybody knows he is around. Okay. All uh, right. This is us. I hope you had fun and enjoyed this wet, uh, muddy safari. And you're nice and dry having coffee in your lounge. Okay. Have a good weekend. See you again next week.